Hello, today we're looking at polymerization of alkanes. Polymerization is a type of addition reaction. It's where the double bond in alkanes breaks and forms a single bond, allowing the molecules to join together. Polymers are hugely important in our everyday life. The word polymer comes from a combination of two Greek words, polis and meros. So polis means numerous and meros is part or segment. So polymer means that it is a substance of many parts. Polymers used for manufacturing objects are commonly called plastics. And there wouldn't be many places if we go in the world we couldn't see evidence of different types of plastics. Here are some examples. Now, polymers, as we've said, are made, can be made from alkenes being joined together in long molecules. Okay, these molecules can be hundreds of thousands of carbons long. Okay, now if we look at polyethane, and we've got some examples of different top types of uses of polyethane. The polyethane where is it? There it is. Polyethane is made up of many ethane molecules. Okay, so ethane has two carbons with four hydrogens attached. That double bond there breaks so we're left with just a single bond and now each carbon atom that was around the double bond has a space that is not bonded. Okay. That means that in that space there where there are unbonding non-bonded parts, non-bonding electrons, a single bond can be formed between the molecules, giving us this chain, long chain of carbon atoms. Now you notice that the four groups off the two carbons from the original ethane molecule, in this case four hydrogens, are still the same. Those side chain groups have not changed. Okay? So this is polyethane. We sometimes hear it called polythene or polyethylene. Here are some other examples of uses of polyethane. So you've got your black rubbish bags, Tupperware containers, and so on. Okay. Other examples include bottles, cream or milk bottles, plastic foil that goes around um, groups of bottles, and so on. Now some of those structures were quite flexible and others quite rigid. With a flexible polyethane, you have what's called low density polyethane. So the L here in D is low density. That's when you've got polymer chains that aren't really linked together very much. There's not much in the way of joining in between the chains. So it's very flexible. Then for the more rigid structures, you've got high density polyethane. So the HD is high density. And this is where you get cross-linking between the polymer chains. So that holds the structure in a more rigid, um, in a more rigid way so that you have firm solid structures that are not going to fold all over themselves. And that's two types of polyethane.